Hey everybody, it's Wednesday. It's time for Round Robin. Welcome everyone. Hi Robin. Hi Rob. How are you? I'm good. I got my Christmas sweater on. <laughs> yeah, Christmas sweater. We'll see that today and next week you said. Yeah, I'm going to wear it next week too because why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, next week I'll put on – oh, there that thing is. I lost a thing and I just found it. Next week yeah, I'll wear yeah, – I, oh, I could do it today, I guess. It's, I think – I wonder is, if I could fit one over my headset. I'm going to expand this so to see if it fits over my headset here. Oh, yours like exp- – mine is just like a one-size Dollar Mine's Tree. Got the, <laughs> the plastic – I'm almost sure that this was purchased at the Dollar Tree as well, but maybe not. I don't know. All right. Now I'm doing the thing where that girls do that have long hair. I don't think you do. Yes, this. it's adorable. Uh, don't yeah. mind my child and running then, by. Me. I every time I see a woman with their hair over their eye, I'm mm-hmm. like, how can they take it? Like I suppose if they do it for years and years, then yeah. They just you know, but I, I like you literally can't. Like I don't have vision in that eye. Like what the? I don't understand. I used to have like bangs because I have a five head and um it's the only way I've ever <laughs> so I used to have bangs and once I got like you know I would just brush them to the side they drove me crazy though so I yeah. stopped the other one is the 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 and I mean I suppose there are men that do this but it's typically women because generally women have longer hair than men but the one <laughs> And then you either have to flip your hair out or you have to curl it behind your ear. And right, yeah. it's, it's like a tick that these people don't know they're doing. And they're doing it every seven or ten seconds. Yes. And you're like, yes. how, how, do you, how is your neck not broken from doing that? Like every right. six times a minute, you know? Yeah. I don't so, understand. like, I generally wear my hair up, like, in a ponytail or bun or something um, just because I have a toddler and he pulls my hair all the fucking time. Um, it's very fascinating to toddlers hair for some reason. Um, if I leave it down and I'm just like out and about or at the house or whatever, I do tuck all of my hair behind my ears. I don't like it in my face. I only literally only wear it like this for the show because I try to look presentable and not like a fucking mom. <laughs> How do you normally wear it? You, you pin it like in a ponytail. Yeah, yeah. Or a bun is like normal. Like oh, you know, I don't the little. See why that would be not acceptable for streaming? Because I, mean... I don't have a very pretty face, so this is the best <laughs> I can come up with. No, I think you're wrong. I think you have a face for streaming. Uh, I mean, the, but the it looks is... like the whole shape of my face looks so different when my hair is pulled back. You know, like it's just different. So I've got a face for streaming, this but is a what body you get. for radio. That's what I have. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Which, by I the have... way, no one sees your body either way. That's true. That's true. Um, I don't even remember what I didn't retort, but now your, I have forgotten. Your hair, your face. We were talking about all I, your, I, yeah, all your whatever. wonderful assets that you oh, don't thanks. like. <laughs> I said assets. <laughs> assets. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Um, anyway, what's up, stream? Is anybody here? What's up, stream? Yeah, or say hi a... if you're here or Robin don't. And I you know, were just discussing no that. obligation. Our two biggest fans are Robin and I. <laughs> That's who likes yeah. the show the most. I am uh, your up, biggest GWD? fan, Rob. It's true. <laughs> You're what? I am your biggest fan. I said, yeah, that is it's true. true. That's probably big true. fan. Oh my god! Like, like, I, can okay, I get so, your autograph? <laughs> so <laughs> you have to stalk me for three years first. So. I have two friends in my life, Ida and Jeff. I talk about them all the time. Mm -hmm. I've known Jeff since 1972, and I've known Ida since 1977. Neither Mm -hmm. one of these people have even one time in the past five years watched any of my streams. Not even once. They don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. I mean, I explain it to them, but... Yeah, so yeah. you would think like you would think those people would be big fans. Not so much. Right. <laughs> they already know everything yeah. about me. Yeah. Oh. What's up, I Jordan? see. I'm. I feel the same way. Like with my my brothers. I have two brothers who play Dungeons and Dragons. Rob, like they play D and D. They're into the same kind of stuff as I am. And I tell them I I do a D and D show every Sunday, and then I hang out with my friend. You know, every Wednesday, and we play on Tuesday. And you can fucking watch all of this. And they're like, No, nah, I'm good. They, they can what? play. They can play. Yeah, my <laughs> they, own flesh and blood yeah. fucking nobody, brothers. Nobody, and nobody that's related to you gives a fuck. 
Yeah. Yeah. And nobody, and even, I mean, I don't have anybody related to me really, but none of them, I mean, my sisters that are not my blood sister, but they don't, they don't even have a, they don't understand any of it. And my, my one sister, Mara, she owns her own business. She owns, you can look this up. There's a thing called lightning nuggets. They're fire starter little things. And oh, I got to look this up now. Yeah. Look up lightning nuggets. She owns that. She, she's the owner. And then my other sister, her wife. You can get uh, them on Amazon. Yes. You can. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. She's lightning nuggets. I've got some in the other room over there. Um, sh- uh, my other sister, Laura her her wife and then now now people that don't know the story they're like wait a minute rob's got two sisters married to each other what the fuck yeah, it's, it's, it's not normal like a, rob it's, it's not, not 1970 anymore it's no, not no, that but, rare but two two sisters two sisters married to each other that's that is rare i that get would what be... you're saying okay yeah. so um anyway she is she kind of works for the business but she's mostly mom right because they have two mm-hmm. boys yeah um and they don't know. They called me up and said, we're going to cook you Thanksgiving dinner. And you drive over and pick it up in the driveway. And I said, okay. Right. And then, they, you know, they're just they're looking out for me, but they, they don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, same. And, uh, and, uh, right. And so anybody else that knows me really well just has, they're like, uh, even comedians in Los Angeles that I still talk to. They'll call me during stream and I'll te- I'll text back on TV. Can't talk. Mm-hmm. And they're which, because this is if you're if you're a, either a millennial or a person who understands how things work today. This is TV. This is like being yeah. On TV. This and, is millennial TV, right? Indeed. And so they're like, "What show? Oh, are, is it live? Why are you texting me?" And I'm like, "No, I'm streaming, bitch." Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, right. uh, yeah. anyway, that's what happened. What did you do today? Right. Fucking family. Um, Fucking I, family. I, uh, if you remember my message to you earlier, we're struggling with getting our toddler to sleep in his fucking bed. Mm-hmm. Um, so usually, as I've said a million times before, usually if I'm going to do like work or chores, excuse me. <clears throat> I do it all while my kid, I had to clear my throat. Um, I do it all while my kid is napping, but today he decided to nap in this chair, which he has removed the cushion to, so it's cushionless. And um, so he slept there for all of like 30 minutes. Um, And then he woke up and proceeded to have a tantrum. So that was great. Um, Yeah, I was working on an overlay for Sven, you know Sven, um, in the community. And um, he's streaming a game. I, I think he said it was a Starfinder game. So I was making him an overlay for that. Um, but I didn't get to finish it because my toddler is the devil. Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, pretty much how my day went. I was going to do the dishes and do laundry and like boring mom things. But I didn't. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> yeah, you know, Sven only lives like about four miles from me. Oh, right. Yeah, that's really cool. Do you, Have you guys ever got like got before Corona gotten together and hung out oh yeah when i first met him so this is the story of spin is he here uh no he's not here so story of <laughs> let's the talk Sp- about him spinster everybody spinster 77 in the chat he's not here right now uh i built the studio in may of 19 and he was already on my discord and mm-hmm. I, I I had a channel in the Discord at the time. It's 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 in the it's still there, but it's in the non-used channels anymore or whatever. That said, like Rob built a studio, and I would take pictures and give everyone updates. And so when it got all done and those guys left, my entire porch, which is probably eight by fifteen, something like that, was mm-hmm. and it's outside. It's it's outside the front door and it's covered but not enclosed. It was just like five feet high with boxes from the computer and the chair and you know all right. this stuff, right? And so I, I, I typed in the Discord like, "Hey, everybody, here's a picture of this," and I'm gonna have to either either find a way to get this to the dump or do whatever, or I'm gonna be. I think what I said was, "I'll be putting three of these boxes in my recycling bin for the next seven months or whatever I said." Right? <laughs> and so Sven sends me a message and he goes, 
Oh, I didn't know you lived in Spokane. I'll be over with my truck and my son and my daughter, and we'll get rid of that. And, I, and I'm like, Aww. what? Okay. So he comes over, and they load it up. And I take – and then as a thank you, I took them out to, like, the hometown buffet place and bought mm-hmm. them all dinner and stuff. Right? Yeah. And we got to know each other a little buffet. bit. Buffet. Right? <laughs> and so – then we started hanging out uh, gaming, and I invited him to our gaming group, uh, like board games that we do with my friend Graham over at his house. And I just put him in the group, and they were like, yeah, he's cool. So he started – and then he would come over here to my house, and for a while we were doing it like weekly. Like, wow. Yeah, just once a week he'd come over, and we'd play Gloomhaven or whatever, all these games, right? And then – That's awesome. And then Corona. And so I have not seen, I physically haven't seen Sven in person since March or whenever. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he's just right here. Stupid coronavirus. Stupid Corona. And then I find out now that I might not be able to get the vaccine, at least not the one. They might have to invent a special one. I don't know what they're going to do. It's too early. Why won't, oh, because you're, because of liver stuff? Yeah. So I take medication that tells my immune system don't fight oh and if they give me i mean the vaccines aren't live virus so they're you know right. like, no no vaccines are really live virus anymore if people think ah, if you get if i get a flu shot i'm gonna get the flu no that's not true no but well in, well unless you're getting the nasal one which is who's doing the, that holy fuck i got it when i was pregnant because apparently it's the only kind you can give to pregnant women oh see, we can't I get the injections <laughs> for some fucking reason i don't know i didn't understand <laughs> and then ask... i got fucking sick yeah and i hated it that, that might have had that might have had well also there's um you would probably already know this if you're in your 30s or older but there's also you can also get have allergic reaction to virus not mm-hmm. not, not yes, anything yeah, that will kill yeah. you but you'll get like sick for a minute but yep. it's worth it but because I take this medication, they've got to find out, like, what are they going to do for – I mean, because everybody who's ever had a transplant of any kind has to worry. And, you know, there's right. all people that have other medical stuff that you got to worry about. But anyway, they'll figure it out. And so I'll just stay yeah. in my house alone with no sex. Right. <laughs> I mean, on the on the bright side, now that there is a vaccine, and as long as people aren't stupid about it and actually get the vaccine because – Oh boy, let me tell you this shit I see on Facebook is fucking crazy. But anyways, um, I think herd immunity is achieved if like 70% of the population gets the um, vaccine. So cross your fingers and hope that 70% of the population are reasonable people who can get the vaccine. Um, (laughs) My my personal estimation, just based on humanity and being in my 50s, is that the amount of Americans on any subject that are reasonable is about 40%. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say 40, so yeah. thanks for reading my mind. Um, I, I have said since I was maybe 15 years old that more people than not in this country are stupid, just dumb. Mm. And, you, and they, selfish. They, they have the ability – and selfish. They have the mm-hmm. ability to, unfortunately, men, impregnate women, have True. kids – and then get jobs enough to feed themselves, but most people don't give a fuck beyond that, right? Like they don't yeah. care about other members of society. They're not courteous. This happens right. standing in line at the grocery store, in any parking lot, mm-hmm. in any mm-hmm. line you're in. I mean, most people. If you, in other words, let me put it this way: if you're if you're in America in any of the fifty states, and you're interacting with a person, and they seem like normal and nice. That is, you've you've hit the luck because the chances yeah, are crazy. The chances are that you're not going to see that, right? Right. Yeah. Which is why I've strived my whole life to be that person because treat people. Sometimes it'll turn people around on you if they're being an asshole and you're nothing but fucking nice to them. It's crazy. They're like, yeah. They sometimes they just stop and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Who am I kidding? You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. It's and it's great. That doesn't happen very often. I, but my it has personality. Happened. So I'm I'm gruff and I'm I have no tact and I'm 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 curt. I'm curt. And how curt? I don't I've I said don't that sugarcoat. Too. Yeah, you said it to me. 
I don't sugarcoat. I mean, and I'm I'm very abrupt, and I'm very like, this is what you need to know from me. So here it is. No flowers, no candy. This fucking this is the shit. And mm. my personality is that way, and my voice and my tone, and I'm very I don't have a girlfriend anyway. So, but I'm a nice guy. I care about society. I give to charity. You know, I'm right. and and people. You know, like I'm an atheist, but I still want to do good. I still want to help people. Right. I still, you know, if I see a if I see a dude fall in the puddle, I'm gonna give him a hand, try to help him up. Although I'm very weak in the upper body, you don't want me helping you. But <laughs> at least he's honest. But you know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I think yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. people go out of their way, and this might be a good thing for it might work for them. But I think a lot of people go out of their way to be nice. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of tell, like, if you're a member of the acting community or a member of Hollywood like I was, you can fucking spot that, like, Gator. You know they're fake people, right? You can spot it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, oh, so nice to see you. How are the kids? Yeah, I don't have any kids. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> I thought you had kids. You don't know me. Oh. But, um... You know, it's that it's that same, you know, the platitudes and the, you know, like people who say, like, we're all guilty of this. Every person's guilty of this. You're walking down the street or you're in the store. You're somewhere where there's strangers and you you somehow lock eyes with the person and you say, how are you doing? Or how are you? Right. And they'll say, good. Or how are you? But nobody actually means that. Like what I do when people say, how are you? I'll try and get in front of them and go, you know, actually, I was having a time of a day. And I'll just start with some random fucking made up story just to teach them Drama. a lesson about how yeah. don't say don't say shit you don't mean. Don't don't, you know, <laughs> it's right. like when you I mean, I say it, too. I think it's just like a it's just something you learn at a young age. And it's it like tick, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I, my latest one lately is people are saying this is super popular these days. And I think I've talked about this before. They people say now have a good one, and I, I always say that go, all. I say, I say a good what, and they get this look on their it. face like, oh day, and then depending on my mood and their attitude, I have two answers. The harsh one is, why don't you just say that then? And the other <laughs> and the nice one is, I will thank you. You know. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's but I, it, it just oh it just and my 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 friend too he he hates that we have a good one and it's good not one. Like, i can't know, help it do you say that the a lot? thing is yeah i do i say it all the time but the thing is you you know a grown-ass man you know what people mean when they say it so <laughs> well but that so that argument doesn't i don't like the argument you know what i mean because when somebody mispronounces a word they're just wrong but the, but I've had people say to me, well, you know what I mean, and I'm like, yeah, I know what you mean, but you know, don't get caught on television with that. Don't get a microphone in your face and end up saying it that way. People are gonna hate you. So yeah, the uh, I guess there's, I, you know what I meant, doesn't fly with me. Also, um, first world problems. I hate it when people say that to me. Oh, I, I say that all the time. Oh, fucking I fucking hate it. To me. <laughs> uh, you, I don't think you've ever said it to me because I would have told you. Pretty sure we've joked about it before on the show. First world problems. Uh, George Orr says he would say you have a nice one too. Nice one too. That's a good retort though. Yeah. Because then giving back to them exactly what they gave you, and you no, don't know. No, what here's it. what you do. I just thought of this. Have a good one. I'll I'll say I do have a good one. <laughs> and then there's double entendre, and now the person doesn't know what to do. But most of the people that tell me that end up then just sliding close the drive up window and then I don't talk right. to them anymore because yeah. that's who's telling me that. The kids at my McDonald's. favorite right now is I like going to Walmart. Um, I did this recently doing my Christmas shopping. I physically went to Walmart. I wore a mask the whole time, y'all, before you yell at me. Um, <laughs> I went to Walmart, did my Christmas shopping, went to Target, did my Christmas shopping. Okay. And every time I went through the checkout, after they were done, they hand me my receipt. Usually the cashier will say something like, have a good day or, you know, whatever. I say, and this, I think it's because of where I live in the Midwest or something. I don't know. But I always say, I hope you have happy holidays. <laughs> and these Karens get so mad that you don't say Merry Christmas. Like, it's the funniest shit fucking ever. Next time I do it, I'm going to get it on video because it's so fucking hilarious. It used to be a thing where if you said Merry Christmas, 
you were in trouble. Right. And that has that shifted to where if you don't say. I think it depends on where you live. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're because, on the West Coast, people don't get bent out of shape over it at all. I in, grew up on the West Coast. In my no. entire life, ever since I could speak, when I would say to a person, Merry Christmas, what I was saying was, please enjoy the commercialized gift giving. That's right. what yeah. I was saying. I'm not saying right. I'm not saying I hope you have a great time celebrating the birth the birth of your Lord Jesus Christ or whatever right. his fucking name is. I wasn't saying that yeah. race Catholic. But now if you say happy holidays, I think it's good to say that because between like for everybody, December no matter 14th what. and January 20th, there's like 14 holidays in there for all different shit. Why yeah. not tell somebody, hey, whatever it is you do, you do you, man. Yeah. I personally think it's the best because low chance of offending anybody, right? You know, if I walk around and say happy Hanukkah to everybody, they're going to be like, um, I'm not Jewish. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's really funny because people up here get really peeved about it for some reason. It must be Merry Christmas. That's the appropriate greeting during December is Merry Christmas. Yeah, but guess what, Karen? It absolutely is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. And I love Christmas. I love I love secular Christmas, non-religious Christmas. Yeah. I love Frosty the fucking snowman and Santa Claus and fucking kitties holding up little presents. You know, I just I love it. I why love don't Christmas. You say, if somebody gets on you for that, why don't you just say I'm Jewish? I would, but half the time I'm wearing fucking Christmas bobble earrings and <laughs> Well, so you, okay. what you do is you say, I'm Jewish, and then you turn and walk, right? And if they come after you with, well, well what's up with all your Christmas stuff? You say, well, I'm not a fucking psycho. I like Christmas. I'm just not going to say Merry Christmas because you want me right. to. Karen, and P.S., let me speak to your fucking manager. Who I know, I'm assuming right? is your husband because you believe in the Bible where men are better than women. So fuck you. Right. Yeah. Don't put fucking I... men. Don't do that. That's what I do. Yeah. The, right so the comparison too I wanted to make is that the lady at Walmart got way more heated about it than the lady at Target, and I was like, I was well. thinking, <laughs> I know, I, right? I had the same thought. I was like, well, it's because nobody gives a shit at Walmart, right? And Target employees are well, nine also, times out of ten better employees. This, I'm gonna offend reason. like I'm gonna offend a good thirty percent of people right now, but also there are levels of white trash, and Walmart is way higher than Target on the white trash. Yeah, scale. yeah I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, I, go, okay, I, so I buy all my groceries at Walmart. I do too. I, I I get the majority of things at Walmart, but I'll buy clothes at Target because they're better quality. Oh <laughs> okay, right. But, yeah. Um. <laughs> So I was going to say, okay, so I live in a, a small town. Um, the town I live in is actually really small, but we're like, we butt up against a bunch of other towns. So it feels like you're in a big town. Does that make any sense? Um, there's not like big, great swaths of like rural in between the towns. It's just town, 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 yeah. town, Chicago. You know it's what I mean? Strip mall, right. <laughs> and Chicago's the Macy's at the end. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, so in our town, um, it's very low crime, mostly white, you know, sort of town. And it's so suburban and so fucking, I don't even know the word for it, um, that the news <laughs> that's in our papers is that sometimes we get fucking firefighter rescues cat from tree that's in our <laughs> any off fucking paper like that's newsworthy that's awesome it's like oh my god and sometimes i i grew up in the city in sacramento okay so i've seen everything that i've seen drugs i've seen gangs you know what i mean like domestic violence fucking everything in my whole life and then I live out here and it's like, firefighter saves cat from tree. <laughs> what the fuck? This isn't my news. Oh yeah, my God. I can it's remember ridiculous. as a kid reading the newspaper. These are these giant swaths of paper that folded. Anyway, you would read stuff like that in the, and, and Spokane's a major city. There's like a half a million people here. And you would read stuff like, um, cat rescues dog or in shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And then because of, well, because of society, but if, to break it down into more minu min the minutia of the terms, because of children and generations, it, it, 
over over the course of 40 years, now those stories don't show up anymore. Now it's murder on Sprague and Division, you know. And yeah. and it 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 isn't like that in the old days that shit was happening and they just didn't print it. It wasn't happening and now it is, right. you know. It's like shit's way more prevalent with crime right. and everything else. Yeah, it's sad. Well, I mean like I see, I don't know. I'm just so I guess I'm just so used to it because of where I grew up and how I grew up and um like that sort of scenario. But it was really weird because the other day my husband was reading the news on his um phone and he was like, Oh my gosh, Robin, did you hear there was a shooting at the mall in the town you grew up in? I grew up in Sacramento, California. So this just happened like a week or so ago. There was a shooting at uh, the Arden Arcade Mall, and my husband was like showing me the article. He's like, "Did you ever go to this mall?" And I shit you not. This was my response to him. I said, "No, that mall's in the rich part of Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking never went there. If I wanted to go to that mall, I would have to take the light rail for like forty minutes to go to that mall. I live so far away from it." But anyways, he was like, there was a shooting at this mall. And I said, you know why? Because they closed all the other fucking malls in Sacramento. <laughs> so that's where all the hood rats go. Yeah. They go to the Arden Mall now. Okay, anyways. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought what you were going to say to him was, oh, yeah, I've been to that mall while there was a shooting. What's the big deal? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, I know, no. The mall that was there when I was a little kid that had, like, the arcade I used to go to and the place where I learned how to play D&D &D and magic the gathering and all that that mall isn't even there anymore guess what it is now a fucking walmart yep yeah, yep. yeah. That's how you do that's it. How... walmart they... comes to town and they crush all the mom and pops yeah and then they take all the money that's how you do it it was really mind-blowing to me when i was a kid though when the mall was still open there was a walmart on the other side of the freeway overpass like a mile down the road there was already a walmart there my mom started working at that walmart and they put, you know, all this shit out of business and then the mall started dying and everybody was like, it's because of Walmart. Okay. And then the mall died and then they built another Walmart. They're literally a mile apart from each, maybe a mile and a half tops. There's two fucking Walmarts on the other side of the 99. Like what? <laughs> it's crazy. That's funny. We have, uh, we have, uh, in, in an area that has at least 300,000 people, we have four Walmarts. And there, and one of them is only like five years old. And and the, the newest one that was built five years ago, it was built next door to Costco and Home Depot, and across the street from Lowe's. There's just like a big box I think, retailers all right there. Even though Walmart has Sam's Club, I don't think they'll put Costco out like ever. I don't no. see that happening. And we, I don't think we have Sam's Club in Spokane, and I. I know we did, but I if if it's here, I don't know where because I have a Costco membership, and right. Sam's Club is hooked into what store though? They're also hooked into a a retail thing, aren't they? Don't like Sam's Club and and Safeway or something. I don't know what it is. It's Sam's Club and Walmart, my friend. It's owned by the same company. It is Sam Walton. Yeah. Oh my Jesus! Well, so what's the difference? The difference is that Sam's Club is Walmart's version of a Costco. Like you need to have a membership to shop there. Oh, Everything. Right. Cool. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Costco is big in Washington State because it started in Kirkland, right? Right. Yeah. And, and so Costco we, 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 will crush you. We, will crush, we will crush you. I don't even know why, but I like some certain Costco, like their store brand of stuff, like Costco. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, the Kirkland stuff. So Costco, I know you don't have kids, but their diapers are fucking great. Like Amazing. as for cheap diapers, they're fucking great. I, Kirkland um, toilet paper is shit. It's rice yeah, don't use the toilet paper. But their um, paper towels aren't too bad, yeah. especially the kind where you can like instead of getting like a whole sheet, you can get half a sheet. Yeah, you know that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, those are great. I like those kind. Um, wow, we talk about the dumbest shit on this show. Can I just say? <laughs> my friend tells me. He goes, Rob. Whatever you do, keep your Costco membership. And I go, I go. Why? Why are you saying that? And he goes, Well, if things ever go tits up and you're homeless, you can still get a hot dog and a soda for a dollar fifty, no matter what. And I'm like, That's true. That's true. That's true. But Costco but membership, then, I think it's like sixty bucks a year now. Yeah, I was gonna say. Then how do you pay your Costco membership well, <laughs> if you're homeless? And yeah, 
Uh, well, so the idea is if you're homeless, you hope every year you can come up with 60 bucks and then every day <laughs> so you can come up with another 50. Yeah, something. Right, yeah. <laughs> something like that. That's great. So, Mosk, Mosk and Boz. A zi- ha- size. Oh, a, a size. Si- what? A size. I don't know what we're talking about. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. What did you do today, Rob? I never asked you. So I went, okay, in order to tell you what I did today, I got to start yesterday. So okay. I went to bed <laughs> at 10 p.m., which is which is like the normal person going to bed like at dinner time. Like I always stay up till 2, 3, yeah, 4, right? Yeah, that's accurate. So I was so tired and wiped out. I was even going to go to bed a little bit earlier, but I decided to wait till 10 and take my medication and then go to bed because I take it every 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I have a three-hour safety window. But anyway, right. so I go to bed and then I sleep six and a half hours and I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I'm like, uh-huh. Of course. Can't sleep. Come in here. Do some email. And yeah, Rob, uh, DMs Guild panic. Uh, here, here. Okay, here, here, here. I, I do all that every day, right? Okay. So I do that some stuff, and I'm and I'm watching. Um, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this show, Arrested Development. Have you? Ever oh my god, it? I love that show. Bob blah blahs blah blog dot com. I so, fucking love Arrested Development. <laughs> I love Arrested Development, and I'm going to tell you something that's a little disappointing slash awesome. Okay. okay. So there's, uh, and then this leads to what I did today. So there's a new podcast. It's had about 15 episodes or so called Smartless. Mm -hmm. And the people on the podcast are Sean Hayes. (laughs) Okay. Okay. But you have to remember, Rob, I'm not very good at remembering like famous people's names. Sean Sean Hayes, uh, Jack on Will and Grace. Oh, okay. Uh, Um, Okay. Will Arnett, Job. I know who he is. Yeah. Okay. Jason Bateman. Michael Bluth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and if you're not watching Ozark, then you're missing out on. I don't watch Ozark. You gotta watch it. Right. So they so they have a podcast, and it's really funny because what they do is they're all three best friends, and one of them brings a guest on to the podcast that the other two don't know who it is, and then okay. they until they 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 start it and they go, oh look who it is, and they've had people fucking. Kamala Harris, uh, uh, like Tom. Hay- I mean, they they've got the most famous people. It's insane. But interesting. They started talking about Arrested Development. Now, I watched Arrested Development way back, two thousand three, I think it was two thousand three right. to six. I watched it. Then they had the, the. Here's the disappointing part. Then they had the Netflix extended, you know, for seasons four and five, and I right. only watched like two episodes, and I don't know why. I fucking love that show. It's one of my so favorite good. shows. So Good. so the other day I just re- and then I forgot, and then they're they're talking about Arrested Development, and I'm like, oh my god, I never. So start starting yesterday or day before, I'm just and I don't do this. I don't rewatch television really, but I'm starting from episode one and I'm gonna watch yes. the whole fucking thing, binge the whole thing. Super excited. Yes. So I'm falling asleep during Arrested oh, no. Development, and I'm like, that's, that's I go something's wrong with me because. I don't fall asleep when I'm watching something I really like. And so I take a Benadryl and I go back to bed and I get up at, I don't know, 1230. Another four hours, I guess. Yeah. 12, 1230 makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then I get up and then (laughs) between then and now it's a little sketchy. I don't know. I mean, I've been in here and I've been, you know, doing this <laughs> okay. shit and, right, but I don't. I think I've just been sitting in this chair since that, since until I started talking to you. But oh, but oh, I know what I did. I yes, I I don't know how can I, I can forget this, but I just got a new bank account. So I for about four hours I spent. You know all the shit you pay with your bank account and all the things online. I went oh, and yeah. changed them all, and the I only one that. that didn't work was PayPal. And I called PayPal. You can call them, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, we see here that it tried to access your bank, but it some something's bad with the connection." And I go, "Well, but it's that's not true because it asked me for my logon, and then it further sent me a text to verify my ID." 
and then it didn't work. And the guy goes, oh, so there is a connection. Well, we don't know. And he's like, uh... And he can't really... tomorrow. Yeah, and so, what they say. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That is exactly what he said. And wow. Uh, so that so I've been doing that because I'm trying to get all my I don't know, it's a long story, but not not that we don't have as much time as we want, but the you know, I'm I'm gonna build this house and I have to show I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finance it, I'm just gonna pay for it in cash. Right. Yeah. And the the people that are the builders they want to see that. <laughs> they, they, oh, they, yeah. If you're not getting a loan, they're like, oh, uh, you're going to give us 200 grand in cash? Uh -huh. Let's see it. You know, they're yeah. like, just going to start building. Yeah, that's on my normal. Yeah. We had to do this thing. We had to put all of our like closing costs and everything like in the escrow account, even before everything was a done deal. Yes. It was weird. Yeah. But, well, because they, uh, don't, they don't want to come out and start hammering nails. And then I go, ah, I, I went to Vegas. <laughs> Never mind. It's yeah, all gone. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't want to see that. Right. So I was just trying to work with getting all that redone, and and I signed up for a checking account that pays interest, which is which isn't a thing. I didn't even know they had that. And the guy was like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna." I've lose. never heard of that. I mean, yeah, but what? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it, it, I mean, yeah, it's a it's Banner Bank. I don't know if they have it where you are, but B A N N E R Banner I've Bank. And I, I I was at and still am at Chase, and they're just corporate. Oh, we so use many. USAA. Why don't you use U USAA? Oh, no, let's have another right story right now. Oh, okay. I have progressive insurance for my uh, house and car. You know, flow. Progressive. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm like, USAA, their commercials are wrong. USAA. I'm like, I'm going to call these fucker. I'm eligible. So I call him up, spoke to a really nice guy, Jason. They're hella nice. Super I nice. love their customer service. Amazing. And he and I gave him all my and he goes, OK, well, let's see. And my my car insurance and my home insurance with them would both be two hundred dollars more per year. I don't know. Not insurance. Why don't you bank with them? Bank with them. Oh, because I the only place. So, OK, that's a different question. Anyway, okay. <laughs> this this but this USA. We don't have our insurance with them, but we bank with them. Oh, so I, I could. Because that's what okay. this guy said. Okay. He goes, well, even though you didn't get insurance, you still qualify for everything else we do. And I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? He, he said like about 85 things. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But here's why I had to bank with Banner Bank. Okay. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Because when I was thinking about purchasing and building this home, in order to show the money, I had to get a home equity line of credit. On my current house. Gross. So I go to Chase, and they're like, yeah, we, we don't do that now. And I'm like, what? Yeah. what? And they go, no, 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 we do it, but not during COVID. And I'm like, what kind of – so the guy – What does COVID have to do with that? I, I don't know. They explained it to me, and I'm like, uh-huh, flimsy. Okay. But, you know, because I thought they were saying we don't do it for you. I got like an 816 credit score. Like, if I can yeah. Be, yeah. So and you don't have a mortgage on the house or anything, right? I own the house, yeah. Yeah. So, so tell them to suck your dick. <laughs> I did. I did. I said suck my dick. And they were like, well, we don't do that either. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> They don't, do they? No, they don't do that either. Uh, this guy was cute too. But anyway, so <laughs> um so so um I'm gonna die. I don't have a girlfriend. And so um the the home guy says, "Oh, here's here's a couple places that you should try, like this credit union and that bank and whatever, to see if they'll give you home equity line of credit." And then I said, "Okay." And then I came home that day. This is when I went to Idaho to look at the model home. I had to go to Idaho. Fuck, I don't know. He's like, right, I remember. Yeah, because because of, of COVID, and I'm like, "Oh, so you're just good. COVID. Idaho has lesser restrictions." And he goes, "Yeah, that's right. Washington sucks." And I'm like, "Yeah, everyone's gonna die." So the uh, I get home and I have this banner bank thing every few months in the mail because the, the bank is like a mile from my house. Every every okay. few months they send out one of those, you know, to Robert Tui or current resident, mm -hmm. right? One of those. Right, right, right. And it's, with it's, the, here's huh? all the reasons why. Right. Well, I what know they, what you're talking about. Yeah. What they do, they, they and I've, I've been getting those for 10 years. And, it, they, they, and right. it's, it's this postcard that says, if you open an account, we'll give you 50 bucks. Then a few right. years ago, yeah. if you open Scale. an account, we'll give you 75 bucks. And then scam. now, no, it's not a scam. 
now if you open an account, we'll give you a hundred bucks. And I thought, well, let me go down. Let me check out that. So I go in there. First of all, I get down there and the door's locked at like 11 a.m. I'm like, what the fuck? And I read the sign on the door. Give us a call. So I call him up <clears throat> and I said, hey, I want to sign up for a home equity line of credit. Oh, we'll let you in. So they come out and they open the door and let me in. And uh, they, they're they like, sorry, COVID. You have to have an appointment to come in the bank. And I go, what about people that need money? And they go, well, drive through. And I go, oh, yeah, cool. Okay, this is stupid. So uh, I talked to this guy and he goes, so tell me about what you want to do. And he go, well, I want to build a second house on my lot and I need a home equity line of credit. And he goes, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so, we can do that. Took 20 minutes to talk to him, sign up. So what does that mean? Does that mean you're actually putting the building on a line of credit? And then you're just. So a home equity line of credit is you can borrow like up to 60 or 80% of the value of your home. Right. Just get a loan. Uh Uh-huh. Super low interest, like the the, the, int- okay. the interest, like if you did it now, the interest rate's zero percent. Government interest rate is right. zero. They're giving money. Yeah, I, mean, I know what that is. Right, and then so you, that, and you're you using it. that towards building your house, your no, new house. No, 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 no. So let me explain. Okay, 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 okay. So in order, to, in order to build this house, I need a set dollar figure. Right. But it's going to take them a year to build the house. Right. And their their structure is when you start, you pay five percent down, uh-huh. and then you pay. Sorry, sorry, you pay. Uh, you put uh, you put down thirty five percent of the money, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and then a third of the way through, you put down thirty percent. Two thirds of the way through, you put down another thirty percent. And when they finish and it's all done, you give them the last five percent. But they have to, and I so I, and I have, I have probably seventy five percent of the money right now. I could get it today, right. but right. not a hundred percent. So right. and, and but they need to see that you have access to all the money. So oh. in order to show them that I had okay. access, I had to okay. get a home line of credit, which I may never even need. I but got I, it. I had to get it to have it, but. And so it's it's good for uh it's it's so it's a hundred thousand dollars and it's good for you can you can use it for ten years fifteen years they said gotcha okay and then if you never use it you just don't and then if you do you pay interest on is and the interest is like th- you know three point two four percent or some shit really low okay um I I'm tracking now yeah so my friend here's how he put it he goes now. Whether you use it or not, you have the ability to swing a hundred thousand dollar dick if you need to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I had a distraction. So he was I, like taking forever to grab yeah, the Oculus thing. <laughs> so I will be building a house behind my house and then emptying this house and either moving it into moving stuff into my house or selling it completely empty mm-hmm. this house put in new carpet and then either airbnb it, it but probably, yeah i'm gonna rent it out probably and hopefully i yeah. can get some like young college gonzaga student or something every year right. or whatever some yeah. low maintenance like and i you can't discriminate but what i want what i want to see is i want to see somebody come to me and say i want to rent your house and i'm going to be like do you study do you have glasses do you put your nose in a book all day and that's all you ever do that's it. okay you're in you know but you right. got to run credit checks on people and so my friend jeff owns five houses and he's a landlord so he he can tell me like when it comes to that i can get all his advice and everything that's good but that's good. i don't know jack shit about it even though i was a renter for a, i only know like what it's like from the other side you know cuz we rented houses for so long while we were in the military um we didn't always live in base housing in fact we only lived in base housing once for three years out of 10 years um yeah. most of the time we rented apartments houses yeah it's fucking renting like sometimes i miss it because i could just be like hey landlord something's broken you know what i mean like that's always great that's the best part of renting but now, now if something's broken, I'm I'm the person who's supposed to pay for it and fix it. I don't like it. But <laughs> Josh wants there's to other that's so small. It doesn't look small. Josh thinks it does. Um, well, maybe I don't know. So 
maybe it is kind of small. Oh, it's because it's going over your headset. So it looks like it's not fit to your head. I don't know. Did you cut your hair? I just, <laughs> it's a legitimate question. Well, the reason I'm laughing is I've already told you just personally, and then I've also mentioned it twice on the show, waiting for <laughs> you to say something. And you just glossed right over it all the whole time. The, the, I, the hat is giant. Okay, look, I'm not perfect. So that the answer is yes, you did cut your hair. <laughs> I did. I did it yesterday. I knew that. Okay, don't judge me because I have mom brain. Okay, well, here, I'll give something for you and everybody else to judge me on. Okay. I have appointment at 1.45 on Monday at a place called the Brick House. Don't let that influence what I'm about to ask you. Brick House. <laughs> What okay, okay. what appointment do I have that is most typically and sexistly applied to a thing that women only do that you would think I'd be doing? Um, you're going to a tanning salon. No, not that. I'll give you a pic. I'll give you a hint. There's a picture, a recent picture that you saw, and you even mentioned. There it is. GWD got it. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, you're getting a pedicure. I want to go. Can we and get I told the, the, I, 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 I've been there twice before with this really lovely girl, Svetlana, and she's from Svetlana, Russia. Of course, her name's yeah. Svetlana. She's, no, no, she's from <laughs> Russia, and she, there was two reasons I didn't like her. She's kind of rough, and I'm a baby man. Like I had to. I had and I, and so when I made the appointment, I had to ask for like someone else who's softer, right? I had to, I had to get it. Yeah. And uh, also, she was wicked smart. Like, I like and I didn't, I didn't like it. I I love smart people, but she was like too smart. Like everything I was, and and also I'm the customer, and I would be telling, you know, she she would ask, you know, and she she was telling me about all her adventures about how she wanted to see the cities, and you know, she's from Moscow, so she was like. I went, I went to Vegas, I went to Los Angeles, and I'm like, oh, where are you going to go to next? And she's like, I want to go to New York, and you know, she and that's what she does. She just makes money and then take, go to take, New York. takes a month off that and goes and go somewhere. So she's telling okay, me about yeah. all her adventures, and and uh, and we 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 got into some we got into some conversation about capitalism somehow, and I'm thinking, okay, she's from Russia, she hates capitalism. And I said something, and she goes, no, no. Why would you begrudge a millionaire or a billionaire from working hard and making all that money? And I was like, what? what, what? And I was like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Can I have my feet back? And uh, She's not wrong, though. <laughs> yeah, she's not. She's not. But I didn't want to have that conversation, you know, because she was – I'm like, didn't – you know, and whatever. And she's uh, – she you know. <laughs> unspeakably gorgeous which was distracting to me of course yeah and i tried yeah. to, i tried to get around you know I, I i made sure she knew i didn't have a girlfriend that i had some money <laughs> that i get pedicures <laughs> and i was hinting at all this stuff and mm-hmm. i said oh you you must be married she was like oh no 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 and i said oh, oh my oh. god are you telling me you could get a russian mail order bride skip the mail part yeah but she she didn't seem to be interested at all oh that sucks I'm sorry, and, and Rob. I, oh, and every place that she wanted to go or had been, I had stories about, and right. she was disinterested in everything I was saying. And I'm like, I don't want well, to spe- the experience it for herself. No, I know, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I said to the gal on the phone, so here's what happened. I get an email, the brick house, 20% off. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll get a pedicure. So I, I go to the website and I fill out. Um, I was singing the song. I'm sorry. I was lip singing. <laughs> she's a brick. Ha- yeah, I've told you the story about that song, right? The Commodores. When I was a kid, I thought the lyrics. Wait, were no, 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 no. You, you can't do re- a bit in the middle of a bit. Okay. You have to finish the first bit first. I'm doing a bit in the middle of a story. That's a difference. Anyways, I thought the lyrics were she's got a dick. Da-na-na-na. Ow. I thought oh. it was a transvestite song. Anyway. Oh, okay. So. Um, and the reason I can't do bits in the middle of the story is because I forget the story. No, I don't forget. So, exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, but if someone wasn't talking. All right. So I go. <laughs> number one. So I I type out the thing in the internet. I want an appointment 
at two o'clock on Monday. Send ring. Hello. It was them. And I'm like, well, I just hit, and I'm not even sure I sent the message. And she goes, oh, I'm not even getting that much business. We don't have, hence the email for 20% off. We don't have, and then she, but she did say this. We don't have two o'clock. We have 145. And I'm like, okay. Ooh, even better. I said, I said, did you read my note? And she goes, yeah, yeah. The soft thing. And I go, yeah, yeah. She goes, she was like, we'll make sure that we take care of you or whatever. I don't know. Aww. And it's also, Aww. it's also a massage place. And I don't, I probably should, but I don't get massages. Um, massage place? Well, so, or right. a massage so place? So you go there. It's the brick house. You can look it up. So you go there. <laughs> Thank God, if you say it one more time, I'm going to sing the song. And it's a coffee shop. So you go in and there's counter coffee. Okay. specialty so drinks. America in. become Korea for us. Okay, so it's a coffee shop. And then there's like a sitting room. And then a, and then a, there's the coffee shop over here. And then the count, the business counter here, like the doctor's uh -huh. appointment looking one, right? Okay. And then through, through the middle and to the back, to the right is the rooms with the the tubs and the for the pedicures and, uh -huh, the pedicures. Pedicures. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then to the left is a bay of doctor looking they they don't look like there's not curtains and like not, and like asian like work in it. No, no. Right. Yeah, okay. it looks like a doctor's thing and whatever yeah. and so and they asked me did you want a massage do you want to book a massage for in a future date or whatever and i said no and then i didn't think about it this time either but um I probably do need to be touched by another human, not not during a yeah, pandemic, maybe, but because well, but they wear gloves. I would no, assume. No, but I'm not going to wear a fucking mask though, for an hour while I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. fair so fair. what's up, Windsor? I want a massage. I've never had like a massage at a massage place, like never in my life. Not oh, once. Oh, I've had that's about the really half... thing to go and do, right? Yeah. No, no, never done it. There, here's the thing about massages is they're addictive. I'm sure. Yeah. So I've had, I'm going to say 10 in my life. And some of them were part of a weight loss program I was doing. And so I had like four in a row, like one a week for four weeks or something. And then I was like, oh, I have to stop because then I'm going to want to do this all the time. Right. But they, if the person knows what they're, oh, and that's the other thing. Like, you know, there's different levels of massage. There's rolfing, which I can't, I don't want that. But basically, I don't know, Robin. I, I have, I just am really, like, I joke about it, but I'm really a baby. Like, if you, if you press really hard on my arm right here, like, really hard, I'll have a bruise mm -hmm. there tomorrow. Like, yeah, that's me how, too. I'm the same way. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. when I get a massage, I have to be like, okay, let's just, I have to make this very clear to you. I can't have even the most uh, rough, um, you know, and, and they, they see, they go, you're having a problem with this, aren't you? And I go, yeah, but I, I, I the reason I, my hesitation is I don't know. I, to me, please. I, I don't, yeah, I said, I know you have to apply pressure, but it has to be like the minimal therapeutic level right. of pressure. You can't like, I, yeah. especially my shins. I, I'd rather so, and this is this is how sensitive my shins are. You know, your front bone on your leg. Yeah, I, I know what a shin is, so, Rob. So, I would rather if I had the option of somebody kicking me as hard as they could in the shin or in the balls, I'd take the balls. That's Why? How, that's so... how sensitive my shins are. I don't even have balls, and that sounds painful. If you so, I don't know if other men. Maybe you can type in the chat, guys. If if a guy sees another guy get hit in the balls, you get an ache in their stomach. I do. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's I like heard that it can make you like physically sick watching somebody else get you know yeah. kicked in the balls. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of that. Um, and every time, so my husband and I like watching. If you remember, once upon a time there was a TV show called America's Funniest Home Videos, it's still, right? It's Everybody still, remembers it's still that, in <laughs> but it's not the same anymore. And anyways. <laughs> So we found on the, you know, on the internet, the millennial version of that. Well, not that millennials didn't grow up with America's Funniest Home Videos, because we did. Um, but now there's other things like it on YouTube. And it's like fail compilations and just, you know, funny fucking yeah. video compilations. Anyways, we like watching the ones where people get hurt because we're masochists, maybe. I don't know. And <laughs> my husband, every time a dude, like, is skateboarding and, like, lands on his junk or, you know, whatever, I he cringes. Like, we'll be watching it together. I am laughing my ass off. And he's over here like, oh! Yeah. 
<laughs> get there's, it. I don't there's get something it. about the testicles and human males that yeah. it's mm-hmm. like an empathy pain or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's insane. I guess. I'm, I'm like that. I can't watch, like, babies getting hurt. I get cringy. Like, pardon using the word cringy, but, like, in this place, it's actually accurate. But I do. Like, I get, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't watch or whatever. Um, If it involves a baby, like, I, I just don't like seeing babies get hurt. So I get it, I guess. Yeah. What if a baby got kicked in the balls? That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I have three sons, you know, so I'm I'm aware that that stuff hurts. I've seen my own kids like kick each other in the balls on accident, not you have on purpose. Three sons for now, right? Well, With three that's... human beings. There's a there's a good chance that at least one of them will not be a boy in years to come. Well, you, you know, that? if that's what he decides, then that's what he decides. There's right. nothing wrong. With that. Um, but right now they're. <laughs> Right now they have testicles, yeah, and uh, they don't want to get yeah. kicked in them on TV. Yeah. They're little assholes. <laughs> they're and little when they're, aliens. When they're really young, they don't seem to give a shit about like me and my body. You know, like they'll punch me. They don't give a fuck. My little two year old, he'll like pull, he'll grab like a whole fistful of my hair and pull it to like get me to move. Uh, you know, like I don't understand but it. He can't Kids tell you. Funny. He can't tell you. I know, but he can. He does know, like several words he knows the word for up he knows please you know he knows come not that kind of come obviously uh <laughs> is it is it obvious it's, you don't know what kids know now. um you don't know what kind he, of online schooling he's got you don't know <laughs> and he count he can count all the way to 999 we've tried to teach him what a thousand is but he doesn't give a fuck he said yeah fuck Wait, a thousand this is your my two-year-old. He can count to 990. Has he, yeah. ever, has he ever done it all in a row? He does it all day long, Rob. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> like, from the moment he wakes up, I bring him down. I'm feeding him a banana or whatever the fuck is for breakfast today. And then it starts. One, two, three, <laughs> four. And then he just, like, periodically throughout the day. Ne- next thing you know, he's playing with his Legos. And he's in, like, the 300s. And you're like, okay, that's fine. I change the laundry. I come back from changing the laundry. All of a sudden, he's in the 600s. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? Stop counting. And no, no, he'll keep going till 999. And then, Rob, he starts all over again. Oh, my God. All fucking day. <laughs> uh, what time is it, Robin? I don't know. The kid's on 600, whatever time that is. Uh, <laughs> create a serial killer. So, what? so... When, tell me how you explained a thousand to him. I so how all of this started um, was about six months or so ago. We were working on just teaching him words, right? Because he was just babbling, um, and of course, you know, he learned mama, data, ball, milk, like very basic necessity yeah. words. Um, and then I was like, "Well, let's try working on numbers and colors in the alphabet." So what I did is we have like. Uh, like a dry erase table that he plays on. So I would write the alphabet, teach him the alphabet. I would write the numbers, teach him the numbers. So we just started with one through 10 and that took like a week or two for him to get. But he, at the time he was only like, he like just barely turned two. And anyways, it just progresses from there. Once he like knows one through 10 on site, like he, we go to Walmart, Rob. Oh my God. He reads all the fucking numbers everywhere. Like yeah. price tags and shit. So it's so I. annoying. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Cause my kid is hella loud. Like you think I'm loud. He's fucking loud. So I'm pushing the cart, minding my own business, fucking shopping. And he's like, nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, stare at me because my kid is reading all the fucking numbers anywhere. But, um, okay, yeah, so long story short, you just kind of, you teach it to them in blocks. And, like, once we knew he knew these numbers, you introduce a new set of numbers. And then you just keep going. So once we got to the 900s, um, because after, like, 100, it's pretty easy. They just repeat with a different number in the front. Right? He's fucking smart, too. And then I'm like, all right, one, zero, zero, zero. This is what he calls that number. One hundred, hundred. That's what he calls that number. And I'm like, no, 1,000. He goes, 100, 100. Yeah. No, because, no, no. Because 1,000. 100, 100, 100 is 10,000. 
Right, I know, but so, he doesn't understand. But, no, but so this is why I asked you how you presented to him. Try this. I'm no parent. Okay, okay. Say to him, the very next number after 999 is 1,000, and show it to him. Okay. And you say, then yeah. you say, you say 1,000, and then when you start from there, you just keep going 1,001. I've done that. He doesn't give a shit, though. He goes 999, and then 30 seconds later, he starts back over at one. He does not give a fuck about the thousands. He's like, yeah, fuck those numbers. I don't need those numbers. I got you're one. Two, kid, you're two. Keep in the thousands. God damn it. I can't be a parent. No. And, like, kids do this, though. The more you're around kids, the more you'll notice it. Sometimes they're like sponges, right? They'll take in fucking everything you tell them. They'll spit it back at you. They're little parrots, whatever, right? right. And you're like, this is great. And then, and then they find out what they like and that's all they fucking want. Mm -hmm. And kids, like, they go through little phases like that. So I'm just waiting for the next sponge phase, basically, because we are not in that phase right now. Like, not at all. He doesn't give a fuck. So, you know, it's fun. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck, Mom. <laughs> right. Yeah. He does not care. He's like, yeah, take your shit and get it out of my face. <laughs> Move it. He's a little, he's a little asshole though. Of all my three children, my youngest is the asshole. So there was bound to be one, right? Isn't that a saying? There's always I mean, an asshole. When you're having three kids, you're gonna get some, uh, some right? statistical anomalies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend, so I'm just hoping that that subliminally sinks in to all the women in the audience, of which there are probably, I don't know, you. <laughs> in the audience. Are there, are there any women in Twitch chat right now? Uh, females. People that identify as female, uh, people that have a vagina or don't, are there any women? Uh, well, at this point, they're going, yeah, I'm here. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I'm out. Sayonara. <laughs> sayonara. Off we understand. See, um, <laughs> no, that's not how it's pronounced. Isn't it? Isn't it uh, that's, how you, that's how you say goodbye in German. Off off your wiener's end. You have to say off no. wiener's end. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, it's auf Wiedersehen? Okay. Something like that. I suck at German. So how many? I know a little bit of it. How many forms of goodbye? Ciao. What else? Sayonara. Sayonara. Auf uh, Wiedersehen. Au revoir. Oh, au revoir. Aloha technically is both hello and goodbye. Yeah, and it also means like six other things. Mm -hmm. Aloha. Adios. Adios. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I forgot, I forgot about that. that. I grew up in California. You would yeah. think Spanish uh, would be my first. Spanish is like option. the first language you should think of when you think of not English. Um. So we did covered. Did you say ciao? Ciao. Yeah, we covered Italian. We covered Spanish, German, Japanese. Shalom, which is what Jewish people Hawaiian. say to both greet and say goodbye. Shalom. Yeah. So is Shalom. Israel. Mm hmm. And Hebrew, but okay. <laughs> what did I say? You said Israeli, which is what you call the people, not the language. Oh, right. Hebrew. <laughs> oh, F off, American. Oh, yeah. Fuck off. Um, come on. I know more than this. I was trying to think of how to say it in Arabic, but for some reason I can't remember right I, I used now. to know Korean. I know hello, but not goodbye. Say it in Korean. Hello. How do you say hello in Korean? Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I've heard that before. I listen I, to K-pop. I don't know if you knew that. Well, I lived in Korea um, for 13 months. How about that? I know. <laughs> um, GWD, say, have a good one. <laughs> have a good one. Fuck me. No, no, no. Other languages. Other languages. Um, Hang on. Thinking. How do you say it in... Ni hao? No, that's how you say hello in Chinese. How do you say goodbye in Chinese? Chinese? I don't know Chinese goodbye. I do not know. I only know hello. Ni hao. Um, ooh, what language is that? Kapla. I don't know what language that is. Probably Swedish. It looks Swedish, but I'm probably way wrong. Wait, where, where are you seeing? How come my... Oh, he said it's Klingon. I feel really dumb. Thanks. <laughs> in chat, Rob. Yeah, but my chat is not... The last thing I have is GG by Scuba. It broke for you. I get to read chat and Rob doesn't. <laughs> Good game, motherfucker. Live long and prosper. I have two versions of chat. The server is not responding on the one. That's why. Klingon. Ach, two. 
<laughs> I don't know any Klingon, and I like Star Trek. Surely you must know something from Octu and Melota. That's my favorite thing Worf ever said. Sure. Uh, um. I just like saying, shut up, Wesley! Like, all the fucking time. <laughs> to my you know, kids. They never, you know they never said that on the show, right? That's so funny. I know. That was never said in an episode of Star Trek. I'm aware. It's a meme, though. I had to it up and look it up in my childhood memory is a long time, but... Persian is Kota Hafez. Oh. Yeah. Is it, do you say Koda or Kahoda? Koda, probably. Hafiz. Kahoda Hafiz? I don't know. I can't. My I don't know how to pronounce things in Farsi. <laughs> it's not a language I know how to speak. They they teach that to soldiers now. You can take a class and learn the whole language. It takes like a year. Oh, that's cool. Uh. Anyways, everybody, what's up? Welcome to the show. The first hour was just Robin and I. Yeah, now we're just being now, weird. Now we're going to really talk about stuff. Okay. That's new, though. Begin. When are Begin. we not being weird? <laughs> when am I not being weird? Never! <laughs> I'm, this is... Okay, you talk about being the king or queen of weirdness. I'm weird in my sleep. Oh, really? I do weird shit in my sleep, yeah. Do tell. Well, so one weird thing I do is wake myself up snoring. And I never, I never okay. snored before. Well, it can happen. I've, I've been wondering when my husband's snoring will wake him up, because it only seems to wake me up. <laughs> right. Well, I think uh, the normal human body and brain would teach itself to not respond to that if it's you. Yes. Yeah. So that otherwise, makes you'd sense. never get any sleep. But right. I, and and my snoring is not a nose thing; it's a mouth thing. For most can, people, it is a mouth thing. Oh, is it? Because I can uh -huh. make, I can, if I'm laying in bed, I can recreate the sound, and it has a lot to do with, and this is really weird, it has a lot to do with the amount of saliva that's in my mouth, but most <laughs> mornings when I wake up, I have a completely dry, like, the first thing I have to do is get a glass of water yes, in my mouth. So where does this fucking saliva go? I don't know. Yeah. But, uh... It dries out, especially if your mouth is open, right? Have you ever, like... Think, yeah been to a concert where you're like shouting a lot and you get dry mouth because yeah. if your mouth is open for a long time all your saliva will dry out yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. science so another thing i do that might be weird uh, so first of all let me say i don't have restless leg syndrome i don't have that but i will shake a foot i will just shake my foot oh yeah i do that sometimes too but i mean for like an hour Oh no, mine is like a jerky random. No, movement. that's that's, okay, so that's as a, I'm falling asleep. Yeah, that's called spasmodic jerk. I know about this kind of thing. Okay, that thing where you're almost asleep and you go, ah, that's a spasmodic yes. jerk. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that happens that's, to me all the time. Yeah, it's kind of it, it. It, right. You hate it, but you kind of love it, don't you? Because it's funny. No, I don't. But love anyway, it. Uh, so I'll shake a foot. It, it's kind of like. It's almost like a—I don't know what you call that—but a, a thing you like a tick or like a yeah, yeah, yeah. something to like if you if you're watching a movie and you notice yourself bouncing your knee, yeah, you don't. There's a part of you that doesn't realize you're doing it, and then you either see it or or your brain locks in. And you're like, why am I doing that? It's supposed to be sexual yes. frustration. I do it yeah. all the time, yeah. Yeah. but um, and then I've been told back in the days when I did have a sleeping partner. What's up? Hey, I've had sex. Come on, I'm no virgin. Uh, I, I am. So that's four. <laughs> that's four immaculate conceptions, including our baby that we had. What, uh -huh, what, yes. what is the baby? Is it the show? It is the show, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I forgot. I was just told, and not even an hour and a half ago, that I've had a baby, and I don't even remember what the baby is. It's the show. Oh my remember. god! Yes, yeah, the show. Oh, wow, really? Rob. That's why I don't have a girlfriend. I can't remember things. Don't worry, honey. He's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Uh, uh, wow, I've, I've really? Been, I've been told that I don't, I don't talk in my sleep, but mm. I respond to questions in my sleep Ooh, and interesting. have no memory of it the next day. Interesting. <laughs> Hashtag, I don't have a girlfriend. What did I say? <laughs> what did you oh. ask? Yeah, don't ask me. Oh, shit. Me, right? Yeah, I'll give you an honest you? answer. Rob, do you love me? I don't know. Not really. I don't know what I said. <laughs> but 
I said, and my one girlfriend that told me that, I said, give me an example. And she said, she said, I asked you if if you ever cheated on me, and and you responded, I don't understand the question. At least he's honest. Look, women, if you're out there listening to this, you can't hold your man accountable for what he says in his sleep. I was like, what kind of fucked up shit is that? Where were you? <laughs> I needed that. Like Thanks. when you're sleeping, that's literally your what, subconscious brain. Like you can't. No, did, does creepy. anyone know anyone else, any other human being that answers questions while they're asleep and then doesn't remember it? Like how I didn't even know that was a know. thing. Yeah, I didn't. I've never heard of that per se. I talk in my sleep usually only before I hit like REM sleep though. Yeah. So like as I'm falling asleep, um, my husband has told me that I, you know, mumble a little, but usually it's incoherent. It's like made up things or like sentences that didn't make sense or, you know, things like that. Um, but I don't think I've ever had a full on like conversation, you know, question and answer session. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, and if, you, if you were like, because in order to be, in in conversation and in dialogue you would have to remember i mean you know i don't yeah. know maybe i, <laughs> I mean, once ordered I... a pizza while asleep from jay Wamo. i woke up and it was in the first <laughs> wow oh my god that's great isn't that's that like funny. borderline sleepwalking that's, though yeah, that's With, yeah. though synombulist i think yeah my oldest brother slept walk until he was like 14. So my mom had to get like this lock on the door, but it was like way up high where he couldn't reach it because apparently he would sleep walk and walk out into the street. Oh. And our street right on the other side of our street over a very small wall was the freeway. <laughs> okay. <Whoa. laughs> so, yeah. My mom had to get like, you know, those chain locks, but she had to put it at like six feet high yeah. um, so that my brother wouldn't literally sleep walk and kill himself. Uh, yeah, it's good times. I heard you're not supposed to wake a sleepwalker up either. I don't know. You are not. Um, allegedly though, they can have convulsions and like all kinds of, because it's like a brain thing. I don't know. I don't understand a lot of people. Some people don't grow out of it though. They'll sleepwalk their entire lives. Um, but yeah, my oldest brother was a sleepwalker, like real bad. I could, it's crazy. Josh, our, our Josh, when you ordered, so you have to, when you're, because most sleepwalkers don't, don't speak. They just go do shit. But if yeah. Josh ordered a pizza, yeah. like, hello, Domino's? <laughs> like, I'm sleepwalking. Can I get the 12 inch special? No, I mean, I don't even think you would say I'm sleepwalking. Are you aware that you're no, sleepwalking yeah, no, no. while I you're doing it? And it's not but... sleepwalking. Right. Because then you're conscious. <laughs> right. Whoa, that is a really philosophical thing to think about, though. Well, it's the same thing as when you knock on a door and, and behind the door you hear, no one's here. I or love doing you, that. If you ask your friend, if you're at, if not your friend, your spouse or your loved one, are you asleep? And they say, yes. Yes. I've done that all the time. <laughs> that means I don't I want to talk to you. Asleep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Robin, I just wish I had somebody here to play these games with. Aww. You'll get that someday. And if you don't, who fucking cares? I do. Love I care. No, but love yourself first. That's the most important oh, thing. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm sure yeah. you do. <laughs> we, that's, not, that's against <laughs> Twitch terms of service. Uh, for me to explain. So, it was insane. The only about. way I knew I looked at my car details online that I paid for it. Wow. GWD, wow. I have several. I have a box of tissue also, you guys, and I don't even do that. Right. That I'm, thing you're bigger. talking about. How many is in yours, Robin? Yours is bigger. My, um, that's a good question. Look on the bottom. I, oh, 124 two-ply tissues. 210! Wow, your and box I is bigger. About forty of these boxes. I don't have that many. This is my last box because I need to go shopping. What happened was I ordered a, a case on Amazon, and then I didn't realize I had ordered the big case, so I got like a lot of. Clean. I got Kleenex case. for the next like. I, I think. I would say I use one box of Kleenex. Every two months, so I got like five oh years. Oh my of god! Use, I mean, One box of tissue in my house lasts like five days max. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine two months. Well, so you know, one or two a day plus plus uh, run noses, so whatever that is. Right, but uh, I mean, I feel like I have to blow my nose several times a day. No, I blow my nose <laughs> about. I blow my nose maybe. 
a few times on a day I have a runny nose, which happens once a month, if that. Right. So, and then, uh, you know, mm -hmm. two a day for 60 days, that's, 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 uh, crazy any day i like deep clean my house too it's always like the next three days i'm i feel crazy stuffed up or runny nose or you know dust and all yeah. that whatever and then i really go through some tissues <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> i don't know you why i said it these. like that get this uh is that like air a can of air yeah my husband uses those to clean our um computer shit <laughs> i don't know why i can't think of the word there it's called the keyboard. Uh, yeah the, well but not just the keyboard the tower too okay let me tell you a story i have cats as you're aware our cat uh, almost all cats like things that are warm yes. they like to lay on things that are warm my computer tower sometimes gets warm that's where my fucking cats decide to make their home they'll lay on top of it so you know, after a few days or if I'm really lazy and haven't cleaned it in a few weeks, it gets like covered in cat hair. I have long haired cats, too. So it's like <laughs> real do bad. It, Josh, I totally do. I stick it up there and I blow it and then it comes out the do other you side. Know? No, no. Why I would I be? So. Josh just asked me if I did that. It just seems dangerous. It like, let me. By the way, does it, I wonder if it says on here, like, don't fucking put it in your throat or whatever. That right. What, what if it's like doing a whip it, though? Have you ever done that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so oh so inhalation immediately move to fresh air eyes immediately flush with water skin immediately wash with warm water treat for frostbite if necessary oh fuck me frostbite? what frostbite. is it it is cold it is cold oh uh, is, is it? it does it say the um, ingredients what's the shit that dry freon. the oh my god it's made out of freon no no i don't think so it's not what goes in car radiators <laughs> Uh, antifreeze isn't it made oh my like god it says in giant bold letters do not shake which I do all the time oh my god it's gonna blow up. somebody am I just being a dumb woman or is it antifreeze that you put in your car made out of Freon please somebody correct me no Freon is what makes the air conditioner work right and and antifreeze in your did you know everything <laughs> radiator <laughs> right shake like 900 <laughs> times on here is it is, is uh, antifreeze is not okay first of all all right here we go <laughs> okay listen 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 wait listen. in my defense <laughs> before you get on to me about cars <laughs> Okay, I I know how to change the tire on my car. Thank you very much. I know how to check the oil. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's about it. That's all we got. I know where the spark plugs are and the battery. I know what the battery looks very like. Very good. So you're I'm not totally fucking helpless. So fuck you. <laughs> okay. So so here you were close, Robin. You said Freon, and it's mono huh? it's monoethylene glycol or monopropylene glycol. So you were close. But, oh, yeah, so close. But, well, and then the chat, it says, no, Robin, that's very wrong. <laughs> uh, but what is, uh, what? I'm not a fucking mechanic, okay. <laughs> from? Uh, it's a name brand of refrigerant. Okay, the I got that. types of gases used are very, and some very dangerous when used. Well, fucking fuck. Oh, Jack Compressed shit. air okay. duster is mostly common, filled with the following propellants: HFC 134A, non-flammable, and <laughs> Jesus, what is dust off made of? I'll say, hey Google, what is no idea. dust off? Hey, it's a, it's an autocomplete. What is dust off made of? Refrigerant-based propellant cleaner, which is not compressed air and incredibly called canned air. It's not air. You look, you lost me at when all of this started. So, <laughs> so what? It, what's in this can right here is called uh, difluorothane. No, no, difluorothane. You were close. You were close. Um, I tried to say it was freon. Anyway, that's what's happening, everybody. Josh says it's made from a fart's fart. A so. fart's fart. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> a fart spart reminds me of the joke that what's the worst smell an anchovy's cunt that's what i heard was a good joke yeah, this I is hate an adult anchovy. show everybody oh. Yeah, oh yeah, this is definitely an adult show. Please don't let your children watch this show. And somebody, please don't let my children watch this and, show. Okay. And right. in the case of today's show, maybe don't let your husbands watch either. What? Uh, no, that's <laughs> totally okay. This is his favorite show, he said. His favorite yeah, he show loves the Wednesday show. I'm surprised he's not here. Where is he? I don't know. Um, so he's actually finishing his bachelor's degree. Um, and he's on his like last class if i remember correctly um so he's trying he's you know got all of that going on to get his bachelor's now, see, he didn't do it the way i did it the way i did it was i got all the way up to two credits shy of a degree and then i quit that's how you're supposed no, to no no he doesn't want to quit <laughs> i thought that's how you're supposed I, to do it. I think um i'm not sure but so he still has like a whole bunch of his um gi bill like left over because he did most of his school while he was still active duty and he was getting tuition assistance so he only had to dip into like his gi bill for like one year basically um so i'm not sure if he's gonna keep going and get like you know master's degree or whatever i don't know we'll find out We'll find out. We'll he's find like, out. I just hope my work gives me a raise. Like, that's all he, he's been saying that for a while. He's like, now my work's going to give me a raise. Okay, but look, in to, to put it in perspective, though. So my husband is already doing the work of somebody who should probably have a master's degree. He's just that fucking smart. Like, he's crazy, crazy, crazy smart. But I think because of the corporation he works for, you know, he works in corporate America. Um, I think that they <laughs> don't want to pay him as much until yeah. he has a degree, which is fucking dumb because he's already doing the job of somebody who should have a degree. You know what I mean? Um, it's very weird, but he works with the software development team and yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> he loves his job though. So that's good. Are your eyes green? My eyes? <laughs> Are they brown? I can't tell. I do not have green eyes, sir. They are, are very they? brown. Yes, brown. Brown like mud is what I've been told my whole life. Okay, fine. I believe you. You should know. Why are you? Why would it? Well, I don't know. Maybe your sweater. Oh, they're they're brown for sure. Now, see, I wish the whole show was that. You're hiding behind that goddamn microphone. Uh, uh, if there's anyone that should be hiding their face, it's me. Holy shit. But yes, I don't know why I thought. First of all, I was like, I've known Robin for like eight months. I don't know what color eyes she has. But I was brown. looking at your looking at your sweater and trying brown. to make. Yeah, they're brown. I won't forget now. You can ask me. You can even ask me when I'm not looking at you. I will remember. <laughs> what color are my eyes, Robin? Um, yours are also brown. Wrong. Well, I don't know. What color? Well, I guess. Oh, they're blue. They're not only blue? blue. They're like the fucking bluest eyes there are. Oh well, it's hard to tell over cameras and shit, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I that's realize how that. That's one of the yeah. best techniques, everybody in life, is if you're speaking to somebody. It probably has to be somebody that you like. But just, one. <laughs> just throw their name at the end of a sentence and see what happens. <laughs> Do to my kids all the time. They hate it, yeah. so it's. Fair. But if you're doing <laughs> it to like a, a person that you might not like, it's gonna come across as like, I fucking wish you were dead. Yeah. I don't mean to patronize you either. I patronize? Don't. No, patronize. I don't mean to patronize you either. Look, people have fought me on the pronunciation of that word so much. Anyways. So here's what yeah. I do. The the website the camera is so small. I. Uh -huh literally can't fucking tell because i don't make the cameras huge you know what i mean and then for twitch i just pop out the chat <laughs> yeah, so it's not like i'm looking like directly into your face <laughs> what are you doing i'm gonna send you a picture of how i'm looking at you i hella big <laughs> i'm gonna feel so bad wait remedies hang on let me make mine bigger real quick <laughs> that's what he said and then <laughs> so everybody i'll show you so everybody this is this is how i'm looking at robin on my computer like i oh, have that's, the that's crazy big okay i have, hang the, on. I have the you know the so so i just have the vc cameras big so this is obs <laughs> right w wait a minute wait a minute oh you i can't i can't show you and see but anyway i made mine bigger you guys know obs 
things like that. So my my, but I I look at the actual camera feed so that she's bigger. Did you get the picture, Robin? Yes, I did. I made my cameras bigger. <laughs> so now check my eyes out. Check them out. They're, They're blue. blue. Yeah, yeah. I'm They're sorry. They're like so blue. I've been told. Uh, so my, my, my blue. Told me that. Um, my husband has gray eyes. That's I've cool. never met anybody who. Well, in the in like in the sunlight, they look green, but like indoors, they're gray, which is where I see him all the time. Uh, um, lycanthrope. Anyway, it's awesome. And it's not like a light gray; it's more like on the darker gray scale. <laughs> and then, so my oldest son, well, because he's he has a different father than my husband. Um, he's got like brown eyes, brown hair, brown skin, right? He's very dark skin too, which comes from, well, whatever. And <laughs> so he looks like me mostly, but darker. And then um, my f middle son, first son with my husband, he looks spitting image of my husband, except brown eyes. <laughs> he got my like muddy, ugly brown eyes. Uh, everything else, he looks like my husband. There's not a drop of me in there other than brown eyes. And then our baby, the two-year-old, also spitting image of my husband, looks just like him. Baby pictures, you can't even fucking tell them apart. And he got my husband's eye color. So he's going to look just like Scott when he gets older. It's crazy. He has gray eyes too. They're like a grayish green. Yeah. yeah. They're very pretty. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so Supposedly you, so all this time, all this well. time we've ever known each other, you've only seen me this big. Is that? Is that yeah, I mean, they used to be, I, well, I ha okay, so I don't know if I sent you the picture or not. Let me send you the picture of what I fixed it to. And then before that, it was about a quarter of the size. Okay. I'm sending it right now. Sending it to me. Okay, so I'll show everybody. This but I made it bigger just for you. Yay. It's only one half. You can't see my other monitor. I don't want you to see all the stuff I'm looking at. No, I'm kidding. I'm not looking at uh, My it's other just... monitor has like DMs Guild and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I got. Twitch chat. All right, let's go back to this one like that. So that's that's what's happening everybody what's happening with your your world supposedly genghis khan had gray eyes as well i never knew that i didn't know that either i didn't know gray was a thing in in humans i didn't know that i know it is in wolves like yeah in it's like a, yeah, it's a werewolf uh, i think scientifically it's technically um closely tied to the green eye color gene from what I understand, which is really rare. Actually, I think green is the rarest of all eye color. Well, green. gray, gray and green are green the, is the rarest of all common eye colors. That's why I thought yours were. Yeah. And also, do you know what the, what the rarest hair color is? Red. It is red. Okay. I'll say that. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's red, but it is red. <laughs> that was me guessing, but yeah. I, don't I don't know, which is weird. I actually have an aunt. Full blooded aunt, well, like on my mom's side of the family, who has red hair, which is weird if you know anything about my family. M my mom's family is from the Mediterranean and very East, East, East European. And red is not really like a hair color that you see in people from those areas. So they literally call her the redheaded stepchild because they think <laughs> she's adopted. But yeah, she has like flaming red hair, naturally born that way crazy huh and what's so fascinating <laughs> well because red hair is also the color of hair that has the least amount of follicles on the head yeah i've heard that that redheaded people don't have very thick hair unless they're um from like ireland i hear irish people have really thick hair like really curly thick hair Do they? I, don't know. I guess i mean i have, so I've always heard, haven't you ever seen like i'm irish <laughs> <laughs> you've I'm never not... seen like those really curly haired red haired like irish people they're beautiful uh, i don't know the rarest combination is red hair and blue eyes yeah i'm not sure i've ever met anybody who had red hair and blue eyes i've seen red hair brown eyes red hair green eyes but I don't think I've ever seen red hair, blue eyes. 
now I'm distracted by something on Google that I see called when does hair turn gray library of Congress? <laughs> Why would that be <laughs> 20 when my hair started turning gray? I was 18 right now, but I have this like huge streak of gray right here in the front and I hate it like rogue. You like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm going to dye it. I'm going to dye my hair pink, Rob. I thought, well, so I have dyed my hair many times in life and I just quit. And I thought about dyeing my hair, but if I did, I would do it some weird, like I wouldn't do brown or some boring shit. I'd do like pink or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving Josh a hard time. He what, said, my daughter, daughter had Josh, hair, like, red hair. <laughs> if you say like teens or whatever, then, but if she's like 40, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> Oh, red hair and blue eyes. Ah, I bet she's adorable. Not that other, you know, people aren't. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh, no, I misunderstood. Oh, 23. I, well, now I take it back. I was asking her age because I somehow thought I read that she had a blue streak. Like Robin was talking about her gray streak, and I thought your daughter had a blue streak. Anyway, I, I misunderstood. Nice, yeah. Whatever. Good on Wouldn't you. Wouldn't that be crazy if somebody was born with, like, blue hair, though? Did you know all babies are bl born with blue eyes? Like, all babies no, are I born with that. blue eyes. Yeah. So you're saying I'm not, I'm not advanced enough to have changed is what you're telling me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Because I guess... <laughs> I guess the the genes that tell your body what color your eyes are, they don't activate until you're like a couple of weeks or a couple of months old. Uh, Didn't know post that. Birth. So every yeah. newborn baby has blue eyes. Well, yeah. And it's like varying shades of blue. So it's really cool. You can kind of guess what color a baby's eyes will end up being based on the shade of blue they're born with. If they're born with like a really dark, dark blue, it almost looks black. Nine times out of ten, they're going to have brown eyes. Um, and then obviously lighter shades of blue mean they'll have lighter eye color yeah. when they get older. It's crazy. It's See, you were strong enough to stay just as you were. Or maybe your genetic programming fucked up. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Josh, I was, okay. or, Josh, what do you do? Uh, what do you do on Wednesday nights usually at six p.m. Pacific? Because hanging out with us. Maybe we need a replacement. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would love to do this show with Josh. Ah, you see what you did? You took my attack on you and turned it right back on me because you're smart and that's why you're here. <laughs> hazel does hazel. count as an eye color. Yeah, my girlfriend Heather had green had hazel eyes. I would say, oh, your eyes are so such a nice shade of green, and then she wouldn't let any any time pass before she would go hazel, and I would go okay, okay. Hazel. <laughs> Isn't that like it's where it's like part brown and part green, right? That's hazel. I mean, that might be, but. I always, her eyes were, see, they didn't, like, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I don't know, I know blue, I don't know fuchsia, or what, you know, I don't, I just know blue, green, red, brown, and, uh, so I would say, and then it, be, of course it became a thing, I had to then, from that point on, always say green, so that she would snap Hazel at me, it was a right. bit, right? Yeah. And then I said, one day I said to her, you know, your eyes are so hazel. And she was like, Hazel! And I said, yeah, see, Aww. you're doing it automatically. <laughs> I said Hazel, yeah. That's adorable. It's adorable. She was funny. I forgot what I was going to say. It was like totally, I was going to say something, and then it's gone. You're doing your impression of me, is that why? Because you just forgot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What's What's new? What is this, Wednesday? <laughs> Oh, what's new? Um, yeah. Ooh, are you working on anything? Any projects in your um word? Okay, so I did make an update today. I took something that didn't have a reference manual. Oh, you'll enjoy this. Not my product. Stand by, Robin. My I get product. I get a comment on. Faith of the Forgotten Realms 3. Oh, that said, that's not my product. I have all these Faith of the Forgotten Realms, and I enjoy them. And I really wish the first two had reference manuals like the third one does. 
And I went back and I looked at Face of the Forgotten Realms and sure enough didn't have a reference manual. So I put it in and then I updated it on DMs Guild and I, I replied to the comment. I've added the one for the first one, but the second one was not authored by me. I did not I did not name the name of the person that did, but that was you. And it has a reference manual, excuse me? <laughs> so then you gotta tell that guy. Um, uh, excuse me? Now I, I need to I open it to make sure, but I'm 99% sure it has <laughs> a reference manual. You should, if it does, you should go to, you should go to the Go go to go to go to mine and and it's comment to that guy. Hey, it does have a reference manual or whatever. Say okay. Um, and that's fine. I'm decently acquainted acquainted. Words are hard. Um, with the fella uh, who actually controls the listing for the one I did because remember Rob, I used to do. Oh things. right, I remember used to. Um. So I'm sure I can get that updated, even if it is actually missing a reference manual. But I find that very hard to believe that it's missing a reference manual. What? Did I fuck up? Nobody's complained about it till now. I don't so. think. I don't think most people. I don't think would complain about a missing reference manual. Um, I do. I do. Yeah, so it's a standard, <laughs> I mean, Team Tui, right? It's a standard for us, but I don't think now, most I... users. Really they, dislike when things don't have a reference manual. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, uh, what about the expanse? Are you saying that you watch that? Should we be watching it? I think my friend told me to watch it, and I didn't. I've never seen it. I don't think I've seen it. Did you know they're rebooting Firefly? Get out of here with the same people. No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Did you know it's going to be on? Wait for it. Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. Five seasons, The Expanse. How did I miss this? What the fuck's this show about? It sounds really familiar. Is it like a space show? Yeah. American yeah, science fiction series that. based on the series of novels, blah, blah, blah. The series set in the future where humanity has colonized the solar system. Why am I not watching this? I think I have seen it. Oh, Thomas Jane. Obviously, it was forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about I think to piss I might off have watched Moscow an episode to this. Is it, am I supposed to be? Should I do it? Moscow, Moscow, Moscow. It is awesome. Okay, I'll try to check it out. Wait, can you see my devil cat right there? That was the fucker that was fucking <laughs> fucking with us last night. He just ran. He, he just so ran. Alive. I know. He was like, "Oh shit, she's talking about me. Gotta go." Um, <laughs> I know you don't don't like when people do that. Um, <laughs> he was being such an asshole yesterday. I was so mad at him rob he kept sitting like right uh, here oh, i remember you being mad oh you sent us a picture wait a yeah. minute back up a second you know i yeah. don't like when you do that what were you talking about i said i spoke for my cat as if my cat could speak i i was under oh, the impression no that's that okay that. that's okay yeah that's okay I'm just against. Who anthrop are you? And what'd you do? No, 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 no. no. An anthrop anthropomorphication in in the way that you would dress them up every day. No, I don't do that. Speak to them as if they were a human child. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> but and then you because you, you know my whole traumatic story about how I, I know, came I to know. hate this was. Yeah. The lady yes. I worked with, for those of you that don't know, I worked with a lady for years and years, and she would always tell st stories about her kids, and, and like three years went by, and she goes, do you want to see a picture of my kids? And I said, oh yeah, I've never, see Robin leaves because she doesn't want to hear this. I'm uh, blowing my nose! <laughs> she goes, I, I said, oh yeah, I've never seen a picture of your kids, and the lady pulls out her cell phone and shows me three fucking dogs. And I'm like, oh, those are those are cute dogs. And she goes, no, those are right. my kids. And the whole fucking three years, I'd been thinking that she was talking about human children. Oh. Yeah. Josh Us wants girls. you to be using canned air for your... Uh, I'm not using canned air. I don't even know where... My husband has like 50 cans of it. Did you know you can get canned air for like a dollar at Walmart? I don't remember where I got mine. I have some. I buy six at a time or something off Amazon. I don't know. The other thing about it though is, if in the summer, if you if you just pick up and hold the can, it's freezing. It's cold. Yeah. Because it's uh, got Freon. It's got. Well, that's why it's called <laughs> Freon. Exactly. 
I'm almost done, I promise. I don't know why I'm so like like kind of congested today. I would I would blow my, my mic around the, on the camera. I don't have a problem with it. I don't like doing it because I don't want people to see me like that's, that's you know not, digging up my nose with the tissue. It's not ladylike. It's well, I don't give a shit about lady being ladylike. <laughs> if you didn't know that about me, then you don't know me. Um, well, no, I just don't want to blow my nose on camera. One clue about you not so, caring about appearing to be ladylike is your sailor's mouth, which I happen to be a big fan of. Right? right? Yeah, I can't help it. Like I just I curse all day, every day. Like. <laughs> Well, because that's because you're you know the harvard study smart people well, i'm so smart so i don't even know use, listen, <laughs> listen free, I'm not free on this <laughs> well, you're, okay, I'm, you're not expecting smart about some everything things. yeah you're smart about right. some things yeah. yeah yeah some things you're smart about important things i don't think that knowing the contents of a can of air is that critical i, forgot. I got a new kickstarter in the mail a couple days ago rob do you have to whisper the name of it, or can you just say it? No, I can just say it. It's not even by Cobalt Press. But it's beautiful. Monsters it's called Monsters of the City, Sins and, and Virtues. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And it's by this back. publisher that not that many people know about, which makes me really sad because they make good stuff. Kawood. Um, oh, publisher. Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. Oh, what my man. gosh. So let me, let me tell you a story. A couple of years ago, like two years ago, I'll go with two years ago. I followed him on Twitter, just happened upon his um, Twitter. And, you know, I tweeted at him and I was like, hey, you know, good job or something like that. And he was so great. He was really nice. And he sent me a free PDF of his stuff, I guess, because he thought I was somebody important. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so it was really nice. And I read that. And I was like, at the time, it was one of the only things he had like available he had like three or three maybe total um pdfs so we've we've had inner you know uh Careful. friendly interchanges over the few years and then um i wanted to back the last two monster books he did but i couldn't because money and anyway so i finally got to back one and it's fucking beautiful like so i love the artist that he got for it um travis hansen i think did the illustrations on the inside i'm going to show you really quick but i can't push to talk so she tells she says she can't push to talk and then she texts talks directly in the mic that is cool look at that yep i recognize that style i just opened a random page but yeah it's kind of like a cartoon almost comic book sort of style but it's so fucking like pretty like so pretty yeah so I'm friends with Andrew. I, I'm going to tell you a good thing and a bad thing. So the good thing is I did Fantasy Grounds for his Between Adventures Handbook, Between Dungeons Handbook. Oh, yeah, friends, okay. Friends and Foes 1, Hirelings and Henchmen, Dungeon Masters Handbook, Dungeon Masters Handbook 2, Inns and Taverns, Stores Handbook, and Traveler's Handbook. The bad thing is I did not even know about that Kickstarter. Yeah, so he did um, the first monster book that that had like full illustrations because um, some of his older stuff didn't wasn't um, fully illustrated. So the first one was Monsters of Feyland, which is beautiful. I only own the PDF. I never got it in print, but I believe you can get it in print now through Drive Through RPG. Um, so even if you missed the Kickstarter for these, you guys should check them out. Um, so Monsters of Feyland is the first one. I I'm gonna get that after Christmas. And then the second one was called Monsters of the Underworld, I think. Um, and then this third one was Monsters of the City. And I assume he's gonna do like you know more. Yeah. And they're all so oh they're so beautiful. Like um, the Monsters of Feyland, you know, has a lot of sprites fairies but also stat blocks for some of the arch fey it's like cr23 arch fey like it's fucking awesome and the monsters are not boring okay so i'm going to tell you a story the reason i don't like most monster manual monsters is because they're so fucking boring okay a bugbear right what does a bugbear do multi-attack weapons bah, bah, whatever fucking boring Okay, even the, even the low CR monsters in thirty third party monster books like Cobalt Press and Cowwood's monsters, they're just so much more thematic. They have more flavorful. It's not all fucking short sword attacks and longbow attacks. You know what I'm talking about, Rob? Right? I do. It's yeah. not that boring. They're so much more 
fun to like run and use at the table. They're very unique. Um, and I like them. Yeah. I hope, I don't know. I don't know if these monster books are available in fantasy grounds, monsters of Feyland, monsters of the underworld. And if they're kickstarters, they might not be, but they could be because the new rule about kickstarters is (laughs) it, it, you have to, you know, you have to do it after the fact, basically. Right. Yeah. So I guess what I'm getting at is one of these days, I'm just going to message him back. (laughs) I'm going to message Andrew and be like, we should get these monster books in fantasy grounds. How can I help facilitate that? You know, I'll write an email to Doug for you. I don't know. No, I won't. I'll have Rob do it, but we should do that. We should make that happen, Rob, because this book is beautiful. Make it happen. And I want to use it in Fantasy Grounds. That's where I was going with that whole conversation. I considered putting it in myself, but that's like a hundred fucking monsters. <laughs> and that's a and lot you, of work. Yeah, and you're very against uh, NPC engineer and the like. Oh, yeah, I don't like NPC. Do I wrote, wrote it. You could do it all in like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. No. So, I call that. so copy... You've got a PDF of it, right? Yeah. Yeah, copy, I have this one in print and PDF. Copy, paste, add token, add picture, repeat. That's that's the process. And then you're done. That's it. You'd have to make Whatever. all the tokens because it's right. it, yeah. Which is fine. I don't but mind that. It wouldn't it wouldn't take you like I don't yeah. know if you know, but Photoshop is my best friend. I use Photoshop all the fucking time. Yeah, Photoshop. Love it. Self-taught, not very good. I'm actually self-taught on everything. I'm, I'm self-taught, self-taught on Excel, and mediocre. Everything. I've done painting in Photoshop. Have you ever seen my two-headed beholder? You have it. Have you ever seen it? No, I'm gonna pull it, it up. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I like to be a little artistic sometimes. Give me a, like ten minutes while I scroll through my photo library to find it. <laughs> I painted it a long time ago, like last year. Uh, I might have to go get a McRib. I know, I'm really hungry now, so thanks. Although Panda Express does have zero dollar fee till the 21st. Ooh, like delivery Uh fee? I mean, you still have to pay some fees, right? But like. Right. Panda Express. And then sometimes they tell you, we can't do it today. What the fuck are you talking about? That's the that's the voice I use. We can't do it today. <laughs> I'm rubbing off on you. You're using random voices now for shit. <laughs> it's great. I use random voices. I'm gonna find this picture Zero eventually. Zero dollar. Wow, PandaExpress.com. Zero dollar delivery fee. Asterisk. Additional service fees may apply. Ten dollar minimum. Hundred dollar maximum. I want to order seven hundred dollars worth of food. Uh. Of course. Delivery. Start delivery order. Let's see if it happens. Oh, shit. He's delivering food live. Ordering delivery oh, live. Should I, on... Yeah, should I show it on screen? I'll show it right now. Sure, why the fuck not? Okay, here's what I get, you guys. This is what I usually get right here. Watch this. Okay, we're going to get a plate like that. And we're going to get white rice, because that's bad for you. And I'm going to get chicken and chicken. All right, like that. Add to order. And I get a veggie spring roll. Well. I don't like that. No, that's so gross. And then, well, it has to be over ten dollars. That's why I do that. And then, oh, I found it. Uh, you found it? Okay. I Here, did. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. So it's an incomplete painting. Okay, it hasn't been finished, so it's not been fully detailed. But um, yeah, someday I would like to do more painting. Oh yeah, There's nice. My- Two-headed behold. Sorry, my camera's not focusing very well, but yeah, there it is. I guess I could just send it to you. In Pop Discord. and Bop. What's their names? Do you have a name for it? I don't have a name for them, no. Uh... Check out... Okay, I don't know if it'll show, but I sent you... It, that photo in Discord because I think the quality will look better that way. 
Okay, let's but yeah, I like I like painting. I like drawing. In fact, there's a painting above my um computer, like a canvas painting that I did of a unicorn. It's very bad, but. <laughs> So did you just yeah. mouse, did you just mouse that? Did you just paint that mouse wise? No, I have a touch screen laptop and I have a pen that I can like oh, touch cool. screen yeah. with. Yeah, so I use it like I thought about like, getting that at one point an for like, mapping tablet. and stuff until I realized yeah. yeah, I don't no matter how much help I have, I can barely draw a stick figure and make you know what it is. <laughs> it's so I mean, it's not that hard like to learn I say. It's not that hard to learn how to draw like you know, 3D shapes and things like to make art out of or whatever. The problem I have is um, the time to keep working on things. Like, so I'll, like for instance, that picture happened one day. I was like, man, what would a two-headed beholder look like, right? So I started fucking drawing it. Um, but then I just never had time to finish it or other projects seemed more important or more interesting to me. So I never went back to it. Yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> but anybody can do art. It's not a talent. It's a skill. You know what I mean? You know I mean? There's a difference between talented and being skilled. And I think art is a skill, not a talent. Just my opinion, though. Yeah. I agree because... I have neither skill nor talent. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> but skill can be learned is my point. Right. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what you, I did? You, you can take classes to mm -hmm. teach you how to draw perspective and distance and all that yeah. stuff. And I yeah, thought about it. And then as soon as I think about it, I go, I'm not going to do it. Right. Well, but, the only thing I did was I paid like $3 for a class on Udemy.com. I'm sure you've all heard of that. Oh, it's I, like one I of call those... it Udemy. I didn't know it was Udemy. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's Udemy. <sighs> I, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how it's pronounced. And Anyways, I paid like $3 for a Make Fantasy Art in Photoshop <laughs> class on oh, Udemy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Udemy. I have several Udemy classes that I've already purchased that I haven't taken yet. None yeah. of them are drawing, but I have other things. I have and... a lot of drawing yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, 33, 825, they say it's going to be here. It's 751 right it's now. It's 951. <laughs> no, 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 that's a different time zone. I'm going to, and so then what I'll do is when the food comes, then I'll just watch Arrested Development until I can't do yes. it. Yes. Yes. I love Arrested Development. Then, apparently, I just watch the, the, yeah, so oh, DoorDash. So, yeah, DoorDash is the one that brings it. But here's what happens, everybody. If you go to DoorDash and order food, those fees are like fucking like planet Mars high. Like it's insane. I don't know how people even do it. Mm -hmm. It's the convenience, I guess. But if right. you go to the direct – like if I go to Panda Express, they use DoorDash, but you pay through Panda Express. And there's still like a delivery fee, and then they, they include a tip, which you can alter. But the, but Panda Express charges you two ninety five. On top of DoorDash, mm -hmm. so now, so what they're doing is they're offering no. They skipped that two ninety five, and so, so my ten dollar and fifteen cent order comes out to with tax and tip and fees thirteen sixty eight. But if you order wow. it on DoorDash, you'd be paying like seventeen bucks or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking expensive. Fucking. Imagine ordering food. For delivery for a household of six people. Yeah. Because there's five of us plus my mother-in-law. So six of us here. Yeah. Um, no, thank you. Yeah, it's expensive. Well, I guess the toddler doesn't really eat that much. If we get, like, Taco Bell, all we get for the toddler is those cheese roll-ups. Have you ever seen that? It's, like, a uh, quesadilla, but it's, like, rolled up basically um he loves those things and sometimes he likes the cinnamon twists and then if we get burger places all he wants is french fries we can't get him well he yeah. eats our burgers like i'll get a burger and he'll come up and look at me all fucking cute and then take a bite of my burger and then run away um so <laughs> man two-year-olds are little food stealing assholes <laughs> that's what they are uh, I don't like egg rolls. Egg rolls are not that good. Have you tried the... Like, Panda Express, I swear to God, they used to have chicken egg rolls and then veggie egg rolls. Have you tried both? 
Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of egg rolls so at I all. I wasn't. I wasn't like when I was younger. I, I hated egg rolls, but no. my, my over when you get old like me, Robin, you'll you'll some of your tastes will change. Right. But, like when I was a kid, no strawberries, no. But now I like. That's them. weird. Yeah. Strawberries are great, but, uh, and everybody loves strawberries. I was, I was very averse to anything that was seedy. Oh yeah, like, that makes no sense. No seeds. I don't even want to look at them or see them or touch them. Makes sense. Yeah. But I like strawberries, and then I never liked any kind of seafood at all, unless you count like tuna fish in the can. Right, that's but the only kind I of. I like shrimp. Good. I do like shrimp. Blech. And I'll eat it like in that platter that comes with the sauce. I'll eat it that way, or bread it, or whatever. Eat seafood. But I cannot stand almost any other. Oh, McDonald's fish, which that's good. Fucking gross. It's good. <laughs> Uh, long john silvers fish gross so gross if i got a long john silvers because somebody in my house wants it my husband i get chicken <laughs> yeah chicken. well i don't like any <laughs> other types of seafood <laughs> but i i do and some other i can't think of right now but some other things that i abhorred as a child are that i do like and then there might be a couple things that i did like when i was younger but that i don't anymore yeah, I didn't like mustard when I was little, but I love mustard now. Like I, mustard, a so hot good. dog is just a thing. Is just an excuse to eat mustard. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you get a mustard craving, have a hot dog. <laughs> and my my bologna sandwich is bread, bologna, cheese. I thought you were about to say my bologna has a first it's name. name. It's O S C A R. My bologna has a second name. It's M A Y E R. Just the way you said my bologna sandwich, it just was like I was like, oh bread, shit. Bologna cheese, mustard, and a thin. Like, put it on the knife and then scrape it on the bread so it barely gets on mayonnaise and then bread. But, no, you need way more mayonnaise than that. Mayonnaise is amazing. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I love mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise is so oh, delicious. Josh is back. Josh came back. Josh What's up? Back. Welcome back, Josh. Good. He missed. Don't show him my terrible drawing. Oh, because he's <laughs> an artist? I thought he was gone for that, yeah. <laughs> He'll he'll think it he'll he'll think it's good. No, he'll laugh. Now, see, if you hadn't have told me, don't show him. I probably no 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 don't don't okay. don't okay well don't. since I already have let's don't. just take that away then like that. No, I can't cover it up. I tried like instinctively to cover it up, but I can't. Oh man, it's terrible. Oh, um. Great. Well, if you asked me what the, you didn't have to tell me, it was a two-headed beholder. I could have told you that. It's a two-headed beholder. Yeah. And well, you, it was my attempt at a two-headed roll. Remember, remember my perspective about drawing. I specifically stated that I can't even draw a stick figure that you know what it is. I can't yeah, even do that. I don't believe you. Oh, bye holder. That's a way bye better holder. name oh, for sister. it. Aren't you glad he saw it now? Because <laughs> I was bye like, holder. Two-headed beholder. <laughs> no, you, you got it. Just for that name alone, you gotta make it a stat block and everything. By holder, I should, but and it, yeah, and it's one head is female and one head is male, and it will have sex with anything. It's a by holder. Well, you know, power. beholders don't reproduce sexually, right? No, I did. I say reproduce. I just said okay. Sex. <laughs> oh, they just do it just for yeah, fun. Yeah, they just okay. do it. <laughs> like As dolphins. matter of fact, one of their one of their lair powers is called do it. Do it. No. <laughs> Dude, they would have like 16 eye rays, right? How many eye rays does a regular beholder have? Only Eight. have? one. I know. Okay, we're not talking about fucking gazers and spectators here. Okay, beholders. Well, let's just see. How many did you draw? <laughs> One, two, three, uh, well, four, five, six, seven. Look, eight. drawings are not accurate. Okay. <laughs> they've got. Don't they've got look an, too closely they, at them. They have an odd number of things, which means they share one. That's Ooh, I'm okay with this. Yeah. So nine. Yeah. Okay. Regular beholders have eight. So if you double a beholder, they would have 16. Unless on the one side of their head where they're conjoined, right. they don't have those. So what if the beholder still only has eight? I raise. But I like nine. I like it that it has an extra one. An odd number. Okay. Odd. Yeah, it's a, it's just another 
this is another nyx touch nyx touch right yeah so then how do you explain the double anti-magic eye the big eye the main eye right does one of them have an anti-magic eye and the other one has an anti something else my yes. eye like anti-healing or something like that that'd be so dope this is your creation robin Dope. It's gonna be like a CR you... twenty monster. <laughs> Nobody will ever use it because who plays high level campaigns anymore? Am I right? <laughs> Some people do. Not that many people. I'm in one right now. It's been going Magic for two years. And we're level. And I, ooh, I like that idea too. Oh, oh, in your dungeon of Mad Mage game, uh -huh. you're level what? Yeah, fifteen. We're uh. CJ and I are 15, everyone else is 16 because of various deaths and mistakes. I jumped into a mimic That's boat so early on. That's great. I love it. Yeah, uh, my Saturday game, they're level 11? Somewhere in that ballpark. I don't remember. And is it homebrew? Is it your own thing? Um, It's hard to explain. Well, so it's like... my real question is, will they have the opportunity to go to level 20? Yes, I. In yeah. fact, I asked them last time we play. I said, "Okay, we're getting kind of close to like the end of like a big story arc. So when that's over, do you guys want to start a new campaign?" And they all vehemently said, "No." So <laughs> I have to come up with more shit, I guess, and keep going, <laughs> which is fine. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure they all want to be level twenty, and that's fine. That's fine. Hey, everybody. Oh, suck it up because there's only two more of these shows till February. Oh, I know. We're going to do the 23rd and the 30th. And then no shows yeah. in January. So suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. Suck yeah. it up. <laughs> suck it up. <laughs> and on and, that note. Yeah, we've been in two hours, by the way. I know. Yeah. I'm hungry and I'm tired. Hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> And my headset hurts. My oh, uh, I know, right? I, glasses I, wearing problems. Yeah, glasses people. Because it's like digging in and making. And we love no, you all so how, much. This is how most people, when they stream, most people do this. They're they're this close. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay, let me uh, try and do something. Chat, we love you all so much. You guys are amazing. Suck it up, bitches. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Knight? Uh, yeah. So. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back on Friday to play mm -hmm. games, but this will be back on uh, next Wednesday for this show because we, mm -hmm. that's how we do. Or you can come on Sunday and come for the All Things Fancy Grounds talk show. Um, or Friday and Saturday, Rob plays games on his channel. And on Tuesdays, we do 5 year pickup games. That's right. We're, and further describe that in one Damn. sentence. What? Further, de <laughs> further describe. Oh, not I mean, It's because I take January off for streaming. So, like, I'll, I'll be around. I'll be on Discord and stuff. I'm not going anywhere, but I just don't stream on a schedule in January. I'm, I'm yeah, not popping so... on stream. You don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't, I don't, I don't behold myself to the calendar during the month of January. You guys, um, I'm going to explain it real quick. So, you yeah. know how, like, sometimes you would catch your mom in the middle of the day drinking or your wife in the middle of the day drinking. Rob's going to do that, but for a whole month. <laughs> right. And I've had a liver transplant, so I'll be drinking all kinds of alcohol. Just like I mean, it's like, it's like your mom drinking break. You need your mom drinking break. Right. I do take the month off for sanity reasons. Absolutely. Yeah. I do. I'm doing it for like four years. Yeah, it's, good. it's good for you. So what I was going to have you do, Robin, was explain 5e pickup okay. games in a one sentence. It's my death simulator. There you go. <laughs> death simulator, everyone. Or um, alternatively, TPK simulator. Although I only got one of those, and I consider it a TPK. You can, yeah. Well, did you? You kill, have you killed everybody in the in one game? You did, didn't you? I did. I mean, so kill? No. Had everybody unconscious and oh, the monster right. won? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. And somebody died, like really died yeah, in that. that. Yeah. But you've also killed various. I mean, you've probably killed like four or five characters, right? Yeah, probably all together. Yeah. DPK, DPK, yeah. DPK. That's that's how Robin sounds. Fuck yeah. 
motherfucking. It's, it's funny because like for my Saturday game, it's like so totally, you know, we're like invested in the story and shit. And so like I can't TPK them because they would hate me um, <laughs> and they would never play with me again. So the games are very, very, very different. But it's really fun because I get to, I guess, like play D&D both ways, you know, full on combat fucking murder mode. <laughs> <laughs> Which I and love. Then- I love it collaborative storytelling hanging with my friends having a great time i've been playing with the same people for four years you know we all love each other that kind of game it's great yeah all right so let's see if everybody can do me a favor and enjoy the rest of your wednesday evening yeah do us the favor and if i don't see you next week or in the next few days i hope you all have very happy holidays I do, too. I hope everyone has a happy, happy season. Or as the Brits would say, happy Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they say happy Christmas. I don't know why they do that, that but they, they certainly do. Um, all oh, right. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. I love that. You have to add a little energy to it, right? All right. Good gaming, everyone. Fuck yeah. yeah.